In this video tutorial, we'll demonstrate how to use the primary reporting feature we call SmartTrack. SmartTrack is available when your company subscribes to one of our smart programs and has access to a customized learning portal. This reporting tool gives company administrators control over employee learning, certification, and compliance. To access SmartTrack reports, select the Reports tab on the left and the Create Report option. As you can see, SmartTrack is comprised of four different reports. We'll briefly explore each. Let's start with the new user report. Simply select the report itself to view an unfiltered version. This report shows your employees, registration dates, and their status within the learning portal, along with some detailed information. Notice the headers across the top. You can click on any of these to sort in ascending or descending order. Use the filters to show specific results, like the date range. Notice these filters allow you to narrow the results to specific dates. Let's sort this in ascending order first. Now in this example, let's say we want to narrow our results to registrations after April 15th. I'll simply select April 15th and add that to the From field. Notice now it shows all registrations from the 15th onward. Now let's limit the results through the end of the year. I'll select December 31st. And it's that easy. You've created a custom on-demand report. If you choose to, you can export the report to a CSV file to send to others to keep on file, or to use for further analysis. Now that you know which employees are in your learning portal, let's see how they're doing with their training. We'll select the user status report for that. As your company's administrator, you'll want to use this report to keep track of your employees' progress, or lack of, in the courses they're required to complete. As you can imagine, this is an important report that gives you control over employee compliance and performance. Let's briefly review what the information means. First of all, employees that are listed on this report are only on this report if they've enrolled in a course. One employee may have multiple rows for each course they're enrolled in. The product ID is the same as the course ID. Their instructor is listed in case you need to contact them. The product start and finish dates are the dates the courses start and end but don't necessarily mean that's when your employee started and completed the course. We're going to use the scroll bar just to review the remainder of the columns. The enroll date is the date the employee was actually enrolled in the course. The progress percentage shows how far along they are in the course. The completion date is the date they completed the course in the learning portal. The status column shows their status in the course. If there is a final exam, their score would be displayed here. The last three columns are helpful for keeping track of when courses need to be completed, renewed, or when they do expire. This report has a lot of information on it. So for this video, we're going to limit the results. Let's say you're interested in seeing who hasn't started their courses yet. You can simply sort by that status. This way, you stay on top of course completions. Let's say you want to check on employees who failed their courses. Simply change the status again. In these examples, the employees likely failed because they did not complete the course prior to the finish date, and that's easy enough for you to check. Let's reset the report for a moment. Each report has a filter reset option. It's either on the left or the right side up top. Now let's sort by the company field to limit the results. We'll use the export button to generate a file.
the report will be available in about five minutes from the download report section. As you can see, this one is pending right now. I created one previously though, so I can show you. You just click on the report name to download it. Once downloaded, you can open it and save it. Reports like these are valuable for additional analysis, performance, and compliance tracking, and to forward along to management as desired. Now that your employees have completed their training, you'll want to keep track of whether they've met the requirements for their state licensing. Let's open the certification report for that. This report shows whether your employees have met their NMLS state-specific requirements for their PE and CE training. Let's review some of the data included. First, we'll limit the results to a single employee. Notice this employee requires licensing in three states. Let's sort that alphabetically. Notice it's Alabama, Arizona, and North Carolina. We see that they have only met the PE requirements in Alabama so far but they've not met the CE requirements for Alabama for the current year. Notice the requirements are separated into three categories. Core, general elective, and state-specific requirements. Employees must meet the requirements in all three columns to meet the overall licensing requirement for their particular state. Because of overlapping NMLS requirements, your employees will get credit for some courses already completed. This report gives you the ability to quickly see what has and has not been met. For example, if we look at Arizona, we see this employee has met the core and the general elective requirements already. That means they only need to complete a state-specific course to meet the licensing requirements. This is an easy way to determine what your employees need. Let's scroll across. Notice the report tracks the date and time this employee met the state requirement, along with whether they've acquired the actual license from NMLS. That part you'll be tracking manually, and I'll show you how in a moment. Let's briefly discuss where this data comes from. State licensing is documented in each employee's profile. For example, let's log into this employee's account. Go to Manage, Users, User List. We'll then filter to locate the employee. Once identified, we'll use the edit action. We'll then use the login button. In looking at this employee's profile, you'll see it shows they require licensing in the three states we just discussed. It's important that you or the employee tells the system what states they need. If employees already have their PE license or current CE license, you can simply check the box. You'll want to make sure this report in this profile stays accurate. Notice the field labeled, I have acquired my PE license. The employee or you, as the administrator, can check this after the employee has acquired their license from NMLS. You'll want to keep up with this as it'll be reflected on the report. Let's pretend this customer now needs to be licensed in Florida. We'll go ahead and select Florida, and we'll see what happens to the report in just a moment. Be sure to save the changes. We'll log out of the employee account and back into the administrator account. Now we're going to open the certification report again. We want to see the changes, how they took effect. We're going to filter by the employee just to narrow, narrow the results. Notice the report now shows this employee requires Florida licensing.
If we scroll over just a little bit, we can see they've met the core and the general elective requirements, but still need the state training to meet the full requirements. Also notice, and you may remember we checked the box for Alabama, that they had acquired their NMLS license, and we can see now it's checked as yes. Of course, with this report, like the others, you can export it for further analysis or to send to other folks. So this certification report will give you control over your NMLS licensing management needs. The last report in SmartTrack is the ticket report. Your company learning portal has a built-in ticketing system, so your employees can report issues to you, the company administrator. As tickets are created, they show up in this report. It's a great way to look for patterns and be proactive. It also gives you greater control and accountability over issues. So this ends our Smart Track tutorial. For more tutorials, please visit our YouTube page. Thank you.